goodness, am I interrupting something? Oh. That's all right. I, I just dropped by to see how you're feeling, lovely. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, you know, for now, sweetheart, you look absolutely gorgeous today. But, well, if you'll excuse me, I have to leave. I'll uh, see you guys later, huh? Okay, okay. Sure. Uh, uh, You two seem kind of, um, you know, uh, kind of... Is something the matter? Can I help? Everything's no. fine. Thanks, anyway. Uh, Felicia, I think that I'm going to go downstairs and, uh, you know, see if they put the final touches on the decorating after the fire. Oh, everything's just lovely down there, even nicer than before the fire. And to think, it happened the day before I moved in. Oh, I really hope I'm not a jinx. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm sure you're not. Mm -hmm. see you. Ta-da, Carlton. Ta-da. Oh, goodness, I certainly seem to empty a room. Is it something like this? No, of course not. Oh, you know, you're getting ready to leave, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to be a bother, lovey, but if I can be of any help, any time, any place, I'm ready, willing and able. And if you've got any secrets, I can keep them. I don't have any secrets. Well, mum's the word. <laughs> well, I have to go. I understand. You know, I, I'm the barkeep at Duke's Club now, but that's only at night, so if you need a good mate to tag along, I'm the one for you. I'll remember. <laughs> I have to go now. Yeah, remember what I said? I'd really like to be your friend, Bobby. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, would it be a bother for you to give me a lift to Duke's Club? You know, I'd like to borrow a ride, because, I mean, really, it would be so convenient. Mm. Did you find anything? No, nothing. Okay, this room's clean so far. Need to check the phone. I just hope the phone in my apartment is the only thing that's bugged. Yeah, I hope so too. Well, we'll know soon enough. Check this phone out, and then I'm going to go into Sean's office and check it out. <clears throat> Find one there? No. Okay, uh, come on in here and help me out. I don't know. I just am not sure where to be looking, but so far I haven't found anything. This gives me the creeps. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'll check in Anna's office. Okay. Nothing. You moved everywhere? Yeah. Well, I guess we lucked out. Okay, that takes care of everything except my desk phone. Oh, good, it's clean. Now I know that nothing I've said has been overheard except on Felicia's phone and my office phone. Devane Donnelly Investigations. This is Mrs. Jones. Oh, what do you mean, Devane? When are you ever going to give me top billing? Well, I'm sorry, but the E in Devane comes before the O in Donnelly. You'll just have to change your name. I think I will to Sean Ardvark. That's with two A's. That's Ardvark and Devane. Now, how's that sound? Silly. <laughs> so, Mrs. Jones, any calls for me? I'm clear here. Uh, that's good. So are we. I checked all the phones and all three of the offices, and there are no bugs anywhere. Okay. Now, what we have to do from here on out is check the phones all the time and everything else. Make sure these guys don't pull any more little stunts on us. What now? Is Colton still there with you? Yes. Okay, I'll meet you and Colton over at your place as soon as I can. Okay. All right, I have one more call to make before I leave. Okay, we'll be waiting for you. Bye, Sean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So... What, uh, what sort of mess are we in these days, hmm? What makes you think I'm in a mess, are eh? History, my boy. Each time one of us goes up the creek without a paddle, the other shows up with one. <laughs> That's true enough. Just tell me a story. Okay. I think I'm getting closer to finding out what Frisco was working on and why he got killed. <laughs>